Hello there, kids. It is Ha, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, um, <laughs> it wasn't here in this particular way, per se. Um, I tried recording the episodes, and they fucked up. Again, I don't know how. I don't know why. I had no sort of anything telling me that it was actually fucking up. What happened was, when I tried to export them to Movie Maker, I noticed that it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't doing the entire episode. Which was weird, because I did a 20 minute chunk and all it went on was 6.5 minutes. Then I realized all of the information was distorted. I didn't know how, so I looked at it through the program to see maybe it's just a problem exporting to Movie Maker. It was the same on the program. I don't know what's happening with my stuff anymore. I had it set to the right decoder. I had it set for the right everything. It just didn't want to work. I don't understand. <sighs> anyway, I had to backtrack through the l second to last episode I recorded, do everything I did in the prior episode just to get to this point. Because, like a doofus, I thought everything recorded properly, and I deleted the original save to start the episode <laughs> recording session. And luckily I was able to find the other one to be able to salvage it so I can show you guys what I did. But, Jesus, Howard Christ, I'm so annoyed. I've heard a few patients mention the Securitrons are acting strangely, and no one has heard from Mr. House in a while. Yep. If House is out of the picture, maybe we'll be able to get our hands on some of his technology. It would help our scientists greatly. No, it wouldn't, because all of that's form-fitted custom to him, and on top of that, it's for extending his life in a very, very, very deprived isolation chamber. It won't help you. I'm sorry, Julie. It just won't. Anyway, I helped with the addiction problem I you saw mentioned. Them. Thank you Good. so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. I try to be nice. If you You're need welcome. some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Nice. Uh, let's have her spare her right away. another 24 hours. Yeah, of course. I don't blame you. I'm going to skip through some of these because I've already heard them. But, uh, uh I, I shouldn't do that. I'm sorry. Um, uh... The medical services, I found out that it's an, actually an unmarked quest, so of course I didn't see it. I have to go to whoever I wanted to talk Hello. to to make it work. Now, that said, I'm going to walk us through... Sorry for the squeaky chair. I'm going to walk us through all the places we can go. We can't talk to anyone outside of Freeside. We only have the ones that Julie mentioned, Mick and Ralph, and the Atomic Wrangler with the Garrett Twins. Now we're going to talk, right now to Mick and Ralph, and we'll find out what we can do with them. And I can almost guarantee it won't be a lot. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. But uh, hopefully it's something. What is this guy doing? So you must Jacob have oh, hey. real pull house to get inside the Lucky 38. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit more than most, that's for sure. I'm just looking around to make sure no freeside thugs are going to run at me. Because, quite frankly, they are still around and they are still a menace. Uh, <laughs> I didn't deal with all of them the first time. Uh, or at least the second time I did all of this run again. My leg is itchy as hell and I don't know why. So, uh, excuse me if the uh, chair squeaks. I'm trying to itch it while also trying to be as uh, discreet as possible. And failing. <laughs> a lot. Alright, Dixon was dealt with. They're all dealt with, so we're good. Let's go talk to Mick and Ralph, huh? First Ralph, of course, because he's the front man who does everything other than guns. Okay. Hey, Ralph. What are we doing? Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. Yeah. I was really getting sick of paying for water. You're welcome. Now, what can I do for you? Ah, again, it itches. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Oh, boy. Uh, the followers are looking to set up a supply deal. We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. Shit. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. Really? You've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. Yeah, that's true. God damn it. Come okay. back anytime. Sounds good. 
All right. Well, talk to uh, Mick then. Welcome back, buddy. Yeah. Uh, they're looking for a supply deal. Are they looking to buy guns? No. Then talk to my partner, Ralph. Shit. Well, I figured I might as well try. Okay. Come. Time to get out of here. And I guess the only place we have to look is the Garrets. Which means I gotta go all the way back to... Oh, hey! Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? Yeah. The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Really? Hey, junk food! Thank you! That's nice of you. I can use that to make a thing. Uh, the Sierra Madre Martini. I think I can still make those, right? Outside of the Sierra Madre, yeah, I should be able to still make those, as long as I have the uh, jar of cloud residue, which I think I have a couple more of. So, I guess now we got to go talk to uh, Atomic Wrangler people. We've uh, got stuff we're not even allowed Francine to and James, right? I think that's what their names. The Garrett twins is all I remember them by, really. But uh, I think their names were Francine and James. There we go. And is there anything else popping out of the woodwork? Nope. Uh, you might you might have noticed that I sent away a couple of my people, uh, <laughs> the uh, companions Eddie and uh, Cass. That, that's mainly because I'm going to have to get rid of them eventually to drop off all my excess ammo. And on top of the fact that we're going to do a thing after I'm done with all of this with the kings. And it looks... You know, it looks believable then. Hey, there's James. Doesn't look good. This buildup of forces between the NCR and Legion. Really? Not good at all for business in the long run, if the Legion wins. That is definitely true. Uh, the followers need to find someone to trade with for supplies. Really now? Well, this is news. Is it? We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. Fair enough. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Yeah. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Yeah. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Ew. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Fair enough. I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. Good. The fixer. We'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. Why? We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so oh. we don't really dabble in that side of things. Fair enough. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. Fair they just enough. need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. All right, fair enough. Uh, all right, then. See ya. Looks like we might have a deal going on here. I just need to go back to uh, Julie Farkas, which means I gotta go back through the place I just left. Just looking to see if anything else special ended up happening around here. Nope. Nothing in particular. Who's Jacob Hoff? What? Okay, where is Jacob Hoff going that way? And why is Bill Ronte going this way? I'm confused. Are they just swapping spots or something? That doesn't seem right. Okay. Whatever. I'm confused. <laughs> And again, a lot of things have confused me today. Like the fact that my recording software fucked up again. That was annoying. Alright. If it can be bought, it can be found. <sighs> Let's try it again. Now we go and talk to Julie. And we see what it does from there. She'll probably not be too happy that it's the Garrets. She'll probably not be too happy. But, that's about what we expected. Where's Julie? Where's she at? Where'd she go? Julie! God damn it, where'd she go? Is she already up? Is she already up in one of the buildings or something? She might be. Nope, that's a follower's doctor. Okay, yeah, she might be in one of the buildings. I'm gonna check the tents first, but... Hey, remember the guys we uh, saved from uh, Cottonwood Cove? These are the guys! Thank you. We never would have escaped without your help. You're welcome. There's Sammy. Thank you so much for freeing me. You're welcome. I can't ever thank you enough for saving me and mine. We're free now. You're welcome. I just wanted to make sure that they were doing all good now. Alright. I cannot find 
Julie, at all. Those Legion elite troops are bad blood. Yeah, you're not wrong. Can't. What are these guys doing? Wayne, Ferris, and Roy. Well, we'll we'll be talking to them soon enough. Yeah, because I know a couple things that you guys might not. Okay. Um, really not finding Julie at the moment. Ah, boy. This is annoying. I guess I'm gonna have to go through the door here. And I'll have to find her around in the building. It's gonna be annoying, eh? That that's noisy. Alright. Julie, where are you at? Okay, well, this is a worthless area to be looking in. That's for sure. This looks like it's a storage building. Not even a good storage building, because there's nothing in here. Alright. <sighs> Gotta walk over here then, maybe. Or the other little building area like that, right there. I assume this is the one that'll have something. I hopefully assume that. <sighs> I'm just hoping I didn't miss Julie when I was trying to look for her in the rest of the place. Alright, maybe she's up here. Oh, thank God she is. Okay. Uh, Julie Farkas. Up a daisy. It's Doc. So the great Caesar is dead. Yep. Happy news, but I don't know that it'll make things safer. Well, the rest of yeah. his goons may be even worse once they take power. That might be true, but at least they don't have leadership, and thusly they will be suffering from infighting and disintegrate. Hopefully. Really, I just killed him for fun. <laughs> anyway, I think I found someone who will be able to cover your supplies. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? You're not going to like it. The Garrett twins. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. Yeah. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Kind of. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Well, I mean, you get your chems and can that help anyone who gets True, addicted? True, we could help addicts, but the cycle of addiction, recovery, and relapse would remain. But it would always be there. There's still going to be people who are going to do it. You might as well have the supplies to be able to help them. While at the same time giving them their vice to help them eventually wean themselves off themselves. Maybe. That, that seemed a little redundant when I said it out loud. Anyway, with a surplus of supplies, you could use your caps to influence and expand. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. Yeah. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, yeah. so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Mm -hmm. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. I try. Believe me, I try. Alrighty, and I think that's the end of it. I think we've helped out Julie with... Oh. Oh. Ow. Hey! we get any caps for that? No, of course not. Of course not. Can't you turn off the light? I'm trying to turn off the light and it doesn't want to let me. There we go. Jesus, Howard Christ. <laughs> okay. Now we get out of here. And we head back to the Garrets to let them know they have a deal. And then from there, we'll go on to the next thing. Which is talking to the kings. That's the thing I felt we should do for a while. Mainly because we keep getting uh, little thank you gifts from the kings without really doing much else to help them, really. So I figure now is probably the best time to actually help out. Because why not, eh? Looking around because usually, <laughs> usually they have at least one or two people uh, start popping up. Especially when you're helping the community as much as I've been within the last few minutes. So... Got that taken care of. We got kings right over there, so right after we're done with the Garrets, we'll be able to help them out. And there's the Atomic Wrangler. Alright. No, oh, excuse me. My, uh, my coffee is starting to talk back to me <laughs> that I had earlier. Uh, okay. And we go to the Garrets. Jacob. It looks like the Legion and NCR are getting ready for a fight. I hope that it doesn't end badly for us. Well, hopefully not. You go, go, you go back to the followers, you doof. All right, okay, uh, James. I hear Betty da -da 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 -da. got force-fed a little slice of heaven. Yeah, he did. And when I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. 
Well, I can describe to you how it happened. His head exploded. Real big. Real good. I spoke with Julie. She says the followers will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. Yeah. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Nice. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even mm -hmm. have a few new drinks on tap. There you go. Most might view us as drug dealing enablers around here. But honestly, we care about our patrons. Do you? It's bad business for people to get addicted. That's true. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Yeah, that's true. And then you're just depriving other customers that could be coming in by having the same customers that are robbing them and just adding to the problem. I, I understand completely. I like these guys. I, I respect I respect the Garretts a little bit more right now. Just a little bit. Doesn't mean much, though. <laughs> it wasn't that high a bar to surpass in the first place. But anyway, now that that's all done, we're all done here. And we're going to go... Uh, I don't know. We were going to go talk to the kings, but it seems a little early. I wanted to do a little bit of looking around to make sure that, you know, all the thugs in the area were taken care of. I figure I might as well do that now. Just to make sure, of course. So there should not be that many left walking around, really. But, uh, I've been wrong before, so... Might as well double check. Huh. Well, I, I only killed one of them over there. And I remember there being at least three or four. So, I'm a little weirded out. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> a little weirded out that there's not as many. Uh, whoa. <laughs> I don't remember him sitting up like that. Okay, physics engine, that was weird. <laughs> I don't remember him sitting up like that when I left him. But, uh, okay. That's a thing, I guess. Okay! Well, I'm just making sure... Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that was not what I expected to see. But, you know what? I mean, at least I found something entertaining while I was uh, looking around, making sure there's no more trouble. And boy, was that something. <laughs> Who'da thunk? Who'da thunk it? Definitely not me, that's for damn sure. Okay. So let's just talk with the kings. Let's head over to them. Alright. Yeah, there we go. I love that song, by the way. It's pretty jazzy, and I like it. Alright. Let's get going. Perfect. Hey, it's still playing in here. Nice. We got two songs going. That's really weird. All right. Uh, Pacer. And I assume... There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's yeah. bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. Well, I'm that guy, buddy. How's that to you? How's that to you? Hey, Pacer. You're the only guy that's named around here. here. Figure I need to talk to you. for the king. Kinda, yeah. I'd like to see the king, if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. Well, yeah. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? How much is it worth to me? I'm new in town and wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Yep. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Fair enough. Alrighty, well... <laughs> that was easy. Alright, hey, buddy. How about you? Look, Rexy, someone hey. needs to come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been the feeding well lately. I'm the king. What the can I do for you? Yeah, uh, I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Uh, will it be dangerous? I like dangerous. In that case, some of the things I need handled will be right up your alley. Fair I'll enough. start you off with something easy. Fair enough. Did you yeah. notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yeah, absolutely. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's mm -hmm. not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Good. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, hmm. my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. Is he? He's making a killing in repeat business. 
Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, huh. I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. Oh, if nothing okay. happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Fair enough. Why are you so interested in this? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings too. I'm yeah. just looking out for my men. Fair I'm not trying enough. to get some kind of unfair advantage. I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? Uh, well, why can't your own man look into this? I've tried, but he can smell a king a mile away. Probably knows mm. all our faces by now. He's not a stupid man. I'll give him that. Fair enough. What I need is someone he won't recognize, which makes you perfect. So are you going to take the job Good point. or what? Well, absolutely, sure. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Fair enough. 200. How expensive is this guy? The fuck? 200? Jesus. Okay, well, um, I guess I need to go talk to a guy named Oris. There's talk. Who's a... That's me, buddy. That is me. It's not bullshit. It is fully me. Anyway, I'm going to go talk to this guy named Oris down in Freeside. But I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. And we can talk about the game we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and helping out people of Freeside. For you.